Hello everyone and welcome to Ginger Big Gaming, it's Richard here and I bring to you Go United! Oh, Alright guys, oh, it's that time of the week again where we uh, do our videos, which haven't been taking place recently. As you all know, I've been uh, very busy recently, but uh, anyway, let's get on with it. Where, where shall I start? It's been such a long time, there's too many games to cover really, so I'm just going to show the quick rundown of where things stand at the moment and uh, maybe the last few matches that I've played. Uh, let's have a quick look. Right, I'm sitting in 5th position. I actually had my best uh, result the, the season so far. I beat a team that was sat in 4th. Uh, they've dropped down to 6th now, but I beat them 6... 2. <laughs> there we go. 6-2 at home. It's a cracking match this one. It's 5-0 uh, up and then my... I think my defence and my keeper starts to fall asleep at the second half, but uh, they did put a full attack a card in the second half against me. Uh, which got them a few goals back, but I had 15 shots to five. That's the most I've had so far this season. Uh, my away matches don't—I don't seem to get that many shots on goal. But uh, I hope, hopefully, things are starting to change. Uh, we both played the same tactic, and I had a formation that's a little bit different from the usual. I've been playing all sorts of formations in the last few matches, and uh, it's caused me a few upsets. I've got not to the, the international masters. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a second. Let's have a look at the uh, the youth league. Second in the youth league, top goal scorers. I've got somebody here. Yes, he's on seven goals and six. There's a few players uh, chasing for the top goal spot, top goal scorer spot. 22 goals in the league, so I've got the second most goals, but I've conceded so many goals, uh, 13. I suppose everybody else has scored, uh, conceded quite a lot, actually, apart from top of the league, who've, who've conceded nine. Um, my next game is against Banzai Blades, who are sitting in fourth, and I'm right behind them. I've got to win, otherwise I'm in deep trouble. Well, not in big trouble, but, you know, I'll, I'll be losing touch of the top, uh, the top four teams. So I need to get this win. And hopefully other teams slip up just to let me back in here. Because it's going to be very difficult from this point to turn things around to win the league or come second. But I'd like a top three. maybe no, Sorry, top four. <laughs> yeah, I said top four. Pushing a little bit there. Um, uh, we can, yeah, we can get top three, can't we? Yeah, we can do that. Right, the National Cup. I think I was the last time I did a video, I just made the second round. But since then, I've won 5-0, 4-0, 3-0. And I'm at home against... Uh, Gandhi Morgan FC, who's a level strength 72. Um, so hopefully, they've got a good form team and really fit, actually. So uh, it's not a total pushover, but I should go through. I'm just saying should because uh, you never know. <laughs> yeah, I play 125% against them. Uh, just see what happens in my new formation. So, uh, I'll show you the formation that I actually got knocked out in the International Masters. It was a disastrous uh, formation. I should never have tried it. But, uh, yeah, that'd be a lesson for me to uh, never do that again. But anyway, hopefully... Oh, Sheffield Wednesday UTO is on the buddies list as well. He's actually pulled himself off bottom of the league with a, a victory. I don't know who you beat, but... Uh, you beat somebody out there, probably this team here, because they've lost every single game basically and drawn one against somebody uh anyway so let's have a quick look at the next thing the international masters now this this game where i got knocked out i lost 2-1 away which i wasn't too bothered about i thought i was going to get the uh the home victory in the bag but it didn't work out that way because i messed around with my formation it's not a good idea to mess with your formation in this sort of league and in the international masters uh, and I got a player sent off as well near the end, which is uh, very poor. <laughs> but here's my formation. <laughs> I did have a defender who actually got sent off, so uh, it was just a straight line. Everybody, I seem to see that people use this type of formation in the higher leagues, but it never works for me. Every time I try it, it just does not work. Um, anyway, kick and rush probably didn't suit it either. I put four players back up front like the old days, but uh, it didn't work out. I mean, come on, look at that formation. That's nearly as bad as mine. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, anyway, but I'll tell you something. Jesty uh, played all right, really. Rating 61. I'm trying to get him up to the 70s with with everybody else. But his, his, uh, his, his value is still at 41 million, I think. Just let's have a quick look. 
40 million. It's dropped to, it's dropped a million since the last video, which was like two weeks ago. But uh, the skills have gone up. He's at 71 now. My goalkeeping's gone up to 82, and my subkeeper's at 72. So as you know, I'm training. Well, I'm training goalkeepers. If you didn't know, uh, I was actually watching Aaron's uh, videos. If you look, check on Aaron's uh, channel from my last video. I'll link it. I think uh, you can have a quick look at Cleef Ops, Dragons, and his tactics. And also, he's got about seven or eight videos on there. Very inf good information on there to uh, learn. If you want to have a look, more, he's more in depth than I am. I just like to have a mess around, really. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, I am training goalkeepers and I'm just training on my squad but obviously I'm using my uh, last training time to do the goalkeeping and keep form up as well I just want because I've just promoted a goalkeeper actually who's age 19 and he's worth nearly a million uh, so let's hopefully we can build some uh, dollars on these people see how it works out um, I want to just I'm just having to play around see what what works and what doesn't really uh Anything else to show? Croft. I've dropped him in. I've stopped training him in, on the wing. I've put him into uh, midfield because it seems his value seems to have started going up again. It was going down in the on the wing, so I've put him on in midfield. And I've moved quite a few players around. I don't know if you've noticed that I've put some young defenders in midfield here as well. Where they there he is, trying to train these guys up. It's worth nearly seven million. It's gone up quite quite a lot that recently. Um, and the other guys here is worth 2.7 but uh, he's just had his birthday so obviously it would drop well 29th of last month uh, who else is worth a lot of money anybody else Studley I think Studley's had his day now he's 25 he's 14.3 million goalkeeper's 23.8 million uh, I've got oh, how much is my striker, striker worth 5.4 16 million the other striker um, and just everybody else is worth a couple of million in between. Oh, eight million, eight point six, four. Anyway, I don't have to run through them all, do I? <laughs> um, it'd be nice if they was all worth like forty million. It'd be amazing. I'd love that. Uh, as you may notice as well, my uh, bank balance has gone up since the last video. It's fourteen point one million. I sold one player and uh, brought a goalkeeper in from my youth. Like I said, I did. Uh, so 14 million. I don't know what to spend it on yet. I'm just uh, waiting, I suppose, for the next division. Because I, I, I think I've got the team that could possibly go up. But it's just like, wait. Well, I've got some players that might retire end of season. Like 33 is getting a bit old. I might have to get rid of him. End of his contract. Um, what else have I got? Yes. I'm training a, a youth player in midfield at the moment. He's 18. Is a 2.4. Um, he's got a f nearly halfway before I can promote him once he reaches the end of here which is a week per one so eight weeks time uh, it's ambitious oh that's what I want to look at actually my uh, goalkeeping personal personality reliable that would do um, and what else have I got to show you have I done anything else different I've been training my staff members they've actually another Staff members reached 100 qualification finally, and I'm training my goalkeeping coach at the moment, who's at 91. Uh, I'll probably jump onto the mental coach next, and then the therapist, and get them to up to 100. And then there's an achievement to get five to 100. So the next season, when I get that get that achievement, uh, get one of these up. Um, and that will be that. All right, what else have we got here? Have we got anything else interesting? No, probably not. That was a quick video, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, hopefully, hopefully, and I'm, I am saying hopefully, I can beat this uh, Banzai Blades team because I've seen these this team before in the league. Because I've uh, come across them before, definitely. Um, either in somebody else's league when I've been covering the people on the buddy, buddies list. I can't even get my words out. It's been that long. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, so National Cup. Is my most exciting thing going on at the moment, I suppose, because I've not got past round six before, and I'm, I'm getting to that territory now. Where I'm in the fifth round. I, I should win that one at home uh, and go through on the 24th. So four days, we'll know that one. Uh, hopefully, I can get some videos out for you 
rather than every two weeks because it is a long time to uh, get a video. Oops, drop my pen. Anyway, what else? Let's have a look at the B team. We've got a B team here, haven't we? Uh, Stanbury B team in the German league. See how long, see how it's getting on. <laughs> it's not doing very well, actually. I've got half a million in the bank, which is pretty decent. Um, I think I've got to play a card on a live match or something in the ticker. Just get that in there. Might give me some money. I think it gives a card, actually. Um, anyway, I can't not tap the cup. Didn't even know I was in it. <laughs> anyway, the league, right? Where am I? Top, top of the league again. Uh, I was actually second. I lost a game somewhere, and then uh, anyway, I've managed to get back to the top. Oh yes, say second drew one one. So it looks like I'm going to get promotion in this because uh, there's no there's no other challenges really. They're all bots, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so let's have a look at the fantastic team that I've got here. Right, I used. When you uh, first start the game, you, you get an opportunity to buy a good player with a card. I think it's like a coupon that you buy. Uh, 500 stars he cost me. I just got this. So I got this guy from... He's from Scotland. I don't know why he's coming from Scotland, but uh, he's a two-winger, which is pretty decent for this. I mean, he's the best player by far now. You look at the skill. Is it all above... I mean, above 10 is pretty good. Because look at these. They're not even over, over three. It's dire... This is dire, this team. Uh, I am tempted. So, some of the players are actually going up in value now. 136,000, I could sell him. I don't know. It's breaking the bank now. And I can actually get a loan out this time in this video. I couldn't get a loan last time. Uh, 100,000. But I still need to do a few alterations before uh, I start spending my money. I've got to get to career level 15 for my next upgrade on my training facilities oh 16 oh that's a shocker isn't it it's actually 16 uh but i can i'll get there i could probably build my stadium to the next tier but it was wasting money just to get me the uh, career points oh the bus stop i need to get some stars really in half the money because if i don't use stars it's going to cost a fortune um to get through as you know so basically let's have a cut that um, youth league seventh in the youth league top goal scorers now I've got one in third position with five goals so hopefully I can how many times I'm gonna say hopefully <laughs> it's driving me nuts <laughs> if I notice it you guys must have noticed it <laughs> oh I can't say that anymore or should I just go and buy, buy a load of players yeah, so what can I spend with 500,000? Oh, this guy's quality. Look at these guys. <laughs> yeah. It needs to be at least one. <laughs> 19 year old. Fun. Oh, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. Yeah, I can't spend that type of money. I'd have no money. <laughs> I'm, I'm cheap. Uh, yes, yeah, so and I've got to get this team to career level 30 before I can start the C team. And the C team, I've decided, actually, I'm going to put one into the English League so I can f catch up to Mark and beat him. My mate Mark in this game. Um, hopefully, I've said that word again. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. But uh, definitely my next goal is to get the uh, the next the next training facility to level 2. I keep feeling, feel, uh, I feel like I'm slurring my words, or like I've been drinking or something. It's just not flowing for me today. I'm just trying to uh, force it out, I think, maybe. <laughs> I've had an attendance of 6,400, which is pretty nice, actually. Uh, capacity is 9,000. Is there anything else I can show? Anything else? Not really. I suppose I can take a screenshot to waste time. But that's it, everybody. That's everything, guys. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed the video, and please subscribe. Keep me going. I will be back as hopefully as normal in a, a couple of weeks' time. Uh, I'm just hoping to finalise the move that's happening in two Sundays' time. So after that, I should have a little bit more time uh, to do some videos and be more interesting because uh, it's very stressful at the moment. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed the videos, and we'll see you again next time. Bye now.